Right. Okay, was just feeling the chicken again. Um, I probably don't have enough to shoot. Yeah, huh? I need to get more. Uh, no matter. Let's continue the main story. Uh, It's not here anymore. No, no. It's here. Moves around, and I know. I hope I don't get to some point where I'm stuck again and have to continue the event. So many towns around Sumeru, and they had to place the main story and event have the same locations. I followed. Oh yeah, I was following this guy. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Hmm. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Mm. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah there was that... Uh, that code. Uh, mice... I think it was customers. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Mm, dizziness, with a set of dizziness, please. I heard something that caused heart stroke, I, I won't remember. No, that's not it. The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. Um. Ugh, eating something that causes heat stroke sounds horrifying. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your order. Why don't you two think things over? He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the... Um, let me just get that so it stops bothering me. Uh, what was it again? It could be anything here. I don't know that. No. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Uh, okay, that probably. Um, uh, unwrap your hard fruits. Uh, this information takes to door. I, I think I did that. Morning flowers, back in knowledge, summer rose, but uh, available in the market. Sure, I did that. Mouse customer, which will attack Matra, taking my mice on to customers, which will attack your company by the Matra. Black summer style, purchase my mouse, invoke, I have to go invoke. Complimenting a customer of skill corresponds to have a fruit that causes dizziness and ringing in the ears. On many a customer of erudition, because when she have her fruit that causes her stroke. Mm. Before I retrieve your pro, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. This is a bit blurry times. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Mm. 
Mm, well, this could, this could work in the context. Yep, that's the right answer. But eating hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Port Ormo style. Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at. Shoot, it's the Matra. Run! Uh, shouldn't we just talk in code and we're not doing anything? What? The Matra? Where? I'll hate them so we're done for if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. We were just talking. There was no. We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant. Just the Matra. The product wasn't here, we're just talking cold. You just change the subject chain. Be good at it. Time to go. He ran that way! Oh, the thing from the event. I don't want to talk to them, just in case something starts. That doesn't seem like a safe path to have in your city. Time to go. Running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But uh are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. It wasn't a horrible decision for them to run directly to her. Oh, Good. Uh, thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? Paimon sure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Uh, Paimon's not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Can you show us your products? Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead, help yourselves. Voila! Wow, she has a trove of canned knowledge. 
Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. But does she know what's Take this one, for example. Ooh. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillicherals. Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. I could probably sell for more to Elon Musk. Yeesh. Who would want to be an expert in that topic? Oh, we know her. Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tevat in the early Archon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. As if she would just have a regular work. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa, that's a lot of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. I'll take this one. Come on, there were three glowing there. I, I can choose. Oh, in this one. As well as this one. But what are they about? Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders. And quite the eye for quality. Should I read? The picture room? I'll take these. Please and thank you. My oh my. You are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million more. A uh, hundred more, but uh, how much am I spending already? Say what now? Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! 100k? You don't usually hear people saying 100k in dialogues like that. Come down, don't let her trick you in spending more. But all the can knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't that a fantastic deal? But we will have a use for it, or we'll have to face it. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we bought belongs to all Haytham. I don't think she have said that aloud. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Well, I thought we would try for ourselves and then hand it over. It doesn't get spent, does it? Once you use it. I think you're the ones who screwed us. You just want to see me try it. No, for sure. Come on, come on! We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem, <clears throat> you've got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand mora. So I don't have a say in this, actually. I don't want to spend it, but Excellent. I... Excellent! And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. W why uh, is it not hold so... Hold on a second! Paima thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million mora each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. 
Uh-oh. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Alright, I'll have a look. But shouldn't so, we read what, what they see? are about? They all seem to be equally bright. So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Is it spent? Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword fighting techniques 8. Sounds useful. The way the move sets work in this game, I don't think it would be actually useful. Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Seriously. Fine by me. Dory, we'll take this one. What's the point of this? Those options, if I don't really have an option. All right, very good. But I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple of days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. I think I prefer the really true text. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. <laughs> Mora, Mora, shiny Mora. <laughs> yeah, since I couldn't complete in a sequence, I don't remember what the guy said. But if he had told me what it was the subject of the knowledge that was lost, I wouldn't have to spend all that money. That was his Please, to begin come with. back anytime you need something. Uh, let me see the items. Ah, I keep that. Can knowledge certifying techniques? H. Can knowledge label certifying techniques? It was bought from Doris Booth at the price of 100,000 more at Paimon Station. You have no idea where the first seven in the series are, but things like combat techniques will always be useful. Well, probably. But shouldn't I just, I don't know, touch it against my forehead or something and learn it? Mm, can knowledge proceed at Dark's booth with the more given to you by Alhaitan? Uh, Package as common commodities to keep it low key. Uh, then he said I could keep that. I thought I would be able to keep like that. The one from Child. True history is sometimes even more exciting than legend. Yeah. Is that like another seat though? Ha! Huh. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. I wouldn't say so. Whoa! There's so many people from the Academia here! Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? No, oh, isn't he from the Academia? Well, Wikela Funduk is under the Academia's control, so naturally the Academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. Mm, you bring your hate up to date and give you again a large okay, blah blah blah. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. 
Something secret or anything? We want to meet with the Dendro Archons. Yeah! He just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Mm, that's kind of vague. Would I be omniscient or something? Wow, there's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we can learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. Oh, I thought it was in the desert. So, yes. where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. You're going to find it too? I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Mm, that's exactly what I want. Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Um, Alhatham, before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a Knowledge Capsule? Sure. I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Hmm. Time to go! <laughs> Time to 
Time to go. Spot here as well. All right, this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. Mm. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! I hate them! You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um... Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the Academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? I'm also curious. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Hmm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. Alright, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Okay. Against him. Yeah. I hate and lift his chin and looks into the distance, seeming waiting for you to provide that battle date. Wind strike! That? All right. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Mm. Hmm, yes. Um, it was one of the few five-star items I had. As if I saw countless star-wielding figures fighting one moment, and then next they disappear into recess, the recesses of my memory. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became part of my memory. I don't know. You mean that it worked? All right. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. Al Hayden is, as he was previously, waiting for you to provide a new batch of combat data. Seems to be about the same. Now, was I'll start recording smaller? data again. Oh, Hatham, how's it going? This could unlock more levels beyond ninety. Oh, but the amount of Resources I'll need to upgrade them will be... Well, no. the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. I actually need a few hits more. 
Wait, how much? Zero down. Ah, Dory's such a jerk. She totally scammed us. One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount. From what he said, we could sell that to the air mites for a good price. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Mm, it's one of the new fishes. That's jumping. I don't even know what they eat. Uh, I haven't done those yet. Uh, I probably need to cook those before. Uh, it's with fruits from here. Uh, wait, what now? Two days from now. Time to go. Here, over here. A oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? Uh, you name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Uh-huh. So it appears that canned knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the Divine Knowledge Caps. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary canned knowledge. But you know... That kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. We came here asking, she could not know. <laughs> she didn't to me, just come up with anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Mm. Name your price. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge price. Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein El Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worship the Scarlet King? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. 
The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other can knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Mm. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Mm. Red, but isn't this those knowledge supposed to be connected to Dangro? Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. More up for Dory Open Stores! Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Turns out, it ended up in... Oh, we can't see it. Go home. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. And remember to bring a token of our friendship the next time we meet, okay? I like to think it's built on a firm foundation of solid, shining Mora. Trust me, I'll find you the perfect color. <laughs> Really? All right. Let's hear it. Uh, it's in the hands of the I. Oh, Ahma. They said uh, the very group that we're about to face. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh? Look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramites transaction. But then to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. Get why you were provoking these Ein El Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Uh, I mean, we're going to face them anyway. Uh, if you knew they were interested in that, they could have escaped all this. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, three o'clock sharp. I'll be there. See you then. Three o'clock sharp. Did we mark a, a time or just a week from whatever that argument happened? Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Hmm. Yep, let's go! Better. Uh, we can't cross from here, can we? Good, no swimming. Time to go. I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. 
I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get em, boys! I want to fight. Uh-oh, here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. Okay. That's close Wind enough. Strategy. Fallen leaves. Adorn my... I'll approve you. <laughs> Can't see. I'll be back. I'll be back. Following orders. Lucky to Seglum! Academia scum! <laughs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. Boss? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! <laughs> that was a nice good scene. Like he used the divine knowledge capsule. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Yeah, we tried. Speaking of which, hey, Page did mention. Did oh, you watch? Oh yeah. Him? You mean how some researchers oh. go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? That's exactly what I heard before. Here, so was it? I don't remember. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Keep it for yourself. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we can go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser 
Master Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's Festival! Oh, yes, it's... Maybe we should head back, too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good! Um, Ezra Dent's mercy? Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again! Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first, or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Should I turn it ahead? Notice he got that. Usually picks things up that nobody else knows. We didn't miss the Sub Zero's festival, right? Let's hurry and find Dunyarzad! Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar since she showed us around there last time. Mm -hmm. Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Looks like we made it back in time. <laughs> Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. Unfortunately, we didn't find any information on Lesser Lord Kuzanali. Uh, instead we were only left with more questions. <sighs> I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You were eavesdropping! It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's alright, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are going to try to take advantage of that. <sighs> oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. Okay, now where? Time to go. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice! Sorry for the trouble, didn't it? Sorry. <laughs> Not at all. Just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. 
That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Well, our place for tomorrow. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Mm, I'll keep you company tomorrow. It'll be easier to get information with your help. Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal! Good night, Dunyarzad! I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon's starting to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival, too! Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler! Did we oversleep? Oh, there is a sight. We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Oh. Oh, nice. Hmm. Where is this? Here. I'll try to remember to come back someday to check back on it. Oh, hold on. I think there's a third part. I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected. I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. <laughs> Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. They all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go! This is a it's stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff! Oh, Paimon's <laughs> a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub -Zero's festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumera roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the Sub-Zero Festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian wow. to enjoy the spread. It is the We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Which are? Wait! case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like 
Roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak. Oh, traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible. <laughs> Will that be the next one? <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks. All right, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Mm, I think Mona would disagree and say this isn't really divination. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? How do people know? Nobody saw see her since she was found by sages. It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Mm. For some reason, I don't buy it. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Alright, guess I'm gonna go. But you didn't even know how you worked. Uh, I don't really want to spam things, but let's try some arrow stuff. I have more of those. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. Hmm. Is it falling? Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies. It means. Uh, wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Hmm. Yours. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes. But this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say... The Diviner's interpretation is the most important part of alchemical divination. I just consulted the book to make sure you got the correct message. So what's the point of interpretation? That if there's a book telling you what it is, the correct interpretation. Okay, what should I say? Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just as impressive. I can talk to this guy. I picked all these from the forest yesterday, so their freshness is guaranteed.
Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. Huh? It's He's a weird guy that. with a weird hat! Yeah, I like that. Hey, it's two years old! Wow! wow. <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzeru's festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed Knight of Flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzeru's festival. All right, little soldiers, take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, yes Knight Ferris! Uh, she's too uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Mm. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Mm. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oh, she eats limes. Oni Kabuto is a little spicier than Lizard Tail. Tanyarzad, you tried them before? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the Sunsetia flavor. Mm, and I'm not be able to get exact flavor you want. It's alright. Paimon believes in you. Good, because I, I also it. believe in your intuition. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? The blue one. Uh, hang on, you said from left to right, but then you change the camera angle. Is it... <laughs> Is it here... Left to right here or left to right here? <laughs> I think it's from his perspective. But the camera is right here now. I guess that's the two. No, that's not the two because you changed the freaking camera. I want four. How's the how's the middle one four? Left right. That's five. Okay, that's one. Couldn't you just give different colors and tell me to pick a color? Attention! That's unfortunately Lizard Tail. Oh, Paimon thought you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck. But looks like Paimon was wrong. It wasn't because of luck. At least it's not as spicy as Ankabuto. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. I think the whole box, not just one of each. Really? That's a lot, Knight of Candies! Yeah, but she has to eat the lizard as well. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. Basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, 
can you come with me to get it? Sure thing. Senior Zod, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. <laughs> ah, how embarrassing. Attention, young soldiers! Are you here to join our ranks? I think like Smiths of each region should have blueprint of a weapon or should get you can even have it should be something great like even a a three star a three stars uh, weapon from the region <laughs> we're too late who knew the little lady was such an early riser I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Puss, isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Humayanis would shell out to get you back. Hmm, okay, so can just pick them up. Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Professional here, right? Hey, to go. did you scumbags even consider that the Humayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're Dia! Dia the Flame Mane! No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Hmm. I don't know about. Traveler, take Miss Dunyarzad to a safe location. No, can we're gonna stay and help. There's too many of them. Uh, we can guarantee anyone's safety here. Oh, of course we can. Uh, they have stuff right. She's her employer safety. <laughs> Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Um, but I don't think we would be able to test her moveset now, would it? Oh. Escape within the time limits. Hey. Where are they? Mm, maybe I should be running from the beginning. Oh no, it's right here. reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Or just us. Yeah, don't worry. My lady. Traveler, found ya. Dia! You 
took care of them so fast! Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? No, I just did I check. Dia, your arm! Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Ah, so she is great swords. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> How space was this her story? Uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> Okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dia. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. No problem. Truly, I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. We're actually. better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. Mm, there's expression just now. When she mentioned your condition. This whole series is your... I famous. didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal. Oh. Terminal. How did a girl in the forest has that well controlled? And she that is from a rich family doesn't. Can't believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival, the joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? That we remember you. Don't say that. You still have 
happy times yet to come. Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. <laughs> oh, thank you two so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. You're the one who's, who has remained resolute in the face of your illness. You're already so strong for never giving up. For Thanks. Fun. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Mm, all right, there's a letter for mine, time. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the Dance of Sub-Zeros about to begin? I don't know. It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub Festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, we should still make it in time. Paimon just interrupt her. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? What? Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub is one of the key parts of the sub Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub Festival? The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. Okay, I don't like the Academia. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. Well, they had the final saying all oh, this. No. Oh, they forced their hand too much. The situation may get ugly. No. This is a What's hard pill to swallow, but... <sighs> You're right. Things would only get worse. This game is family-friendly. What's... Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The sub Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. <sighs> you all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah, uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or, 
We could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, No. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub zero so much! And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub zero's festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so, but you can sneak out for the next sub zero's festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. Yes, okay? It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Hyman can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. Is there anything else we can do? Should we try to think on It really way? is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milu's dance. Users as far as come out to an unfortunately abrupt end. A lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next sub Zero's festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. I'm sure she knows that very well. Yeah. All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. Hmm? The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from... What was that? Oh, we're gonna be late! It's all because you wouldn't get out of bed! What? We should go meet Dunyarzad right away! Go on, have a good day. early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? Mm. I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. His suspicious face. Sure! Uh, Traveler, why are you just standing there? Let's get going! I'm almost not special as me. Well, shouldn't she be saying something that I missed last time? Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! Oh, we will be able to pick a ladder. This is a stall offering foods from the Hoft Mewa feast. You are quite well informed, miss. They're all plants! Oh, Paimon's a little... Actually, what is the Hoft... It's one of the sub Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait, starting from just now? Something feels really familiar. Plants appear to be in the form of the moon. Really? Paimon thought it looked like some kind of food. What? We just... Hmm... Not some kind of food. The just moon signifies... It looked like... Hmm... A pie. It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up? Oh, 
Right. <laughs> it means. But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Is this the show? Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. So, where to next? Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I could get in the way of the guy. So he wouldn't be able to get here in time. Soldiers, now that you have your Yalta candies, don't forget your lord. Yes, yes, Knight Ferris! What's going on? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subseris festival. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsor. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some box. Uh, what's to pick? <laughs> it's not that. Ooh, how interesting! And there's also lizard tail and. Ugh, what? Mm. Traveler, help him! Great! These boxes of candy are number, number four. Yeah. Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Um, but I. Yeah, I don't know, me. I. Oh, was better Paima! options. Paima bet you had incredible luck, and Paima was right! I just know. I don't think that was luck. I could have gone with the wrong one. Damn, I kinda want to go with the wrong one. Don't know why, but I knew it must have been number four. Huh? How's that possible? It's obviously random. I do have to keep having Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Yeah, or maybe we slept too much. Uh, no, let's... I, I, I want to choose another one. Let's wait for the loading. Uh, I hope I'm halfway through the walk with Daniel's art. I don't really want to start the whole conversation and the long walk again. That was kind of fast. It usually takes a little while longer. Ferris! Great. All right, soldiers. Perfect. Now that yes, night, Ferris. Mm. What's going on? I hope Ferris, he isn't going to come. Oh, do you want some Yalta candy? Uh, what's the? <laughs> it's not mm. that simple. Each mail. box contains a random Perfect. flavor. So it's up to the luck of the draw. Okay, for what Flavors they say, include lavender melon, Sunset Hara fruit, probably Sunsetia. the best one. Ooh. And there's also uh. great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Uh, Which one do you want? I think that's the third one. That's yeah, that's the one I wanted. Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is number four? indeed Sunset. I didn't choose. I choose number three. <laughs> Did I? Not. I just uh, and Paimon was right. Uh, just now, did I really mean to choose number four? Felt like my body just subconsciously reached for it. Uh, so it, it, it doesn't matter what you choose; he's going to pick the right one. Are you saying that you instinctively chose the right box? No, I purposefully chose the wrong box. 
and the game now didn't let me. It, Paimon also had the feeling you'd choose the right one. Is that kind of like what you felt? No, you ju are just like that. Well, why do I keep having this sense of deja vu? Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much! I'm sorry, that is hard, but I need to leave for a moment. Oh, it, sure. Yeah, did she forget something and then we got ambushed by those guys? What did she forget? Huh? Where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? Hmm. Attention! Any more? Why are we going there? A feeling of deja vu? Oh, Paimon knows what that is! It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us, isn't it? So why'd you run here in such a hurry? I want you to do something I norm normally never would. So that's it! You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu! Welcome, you two! Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? One coconut charcoal cake, please. Got it! You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste! <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that... that burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. But if I had the recipe, I would cook it 20 times. That... thing? Are you really gonna eat it? Hey, should I have coconuts now as ingredients? Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? Here it goes. It has cake in the name. How, how was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted awful. No, it actually tasted really good. Then, you mean... This flavor, I've definitely eaten this before. How about it? We were just talking about how gross it looked! So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Hmm? I couldn't get rid of it after all. Looks like I tried this before. Wait. Paimon also but gets the impression that we've been though. here many times, even though we, we are regulars. Uh. Uh, so, um, the loop has happened more times than we We go out seen. again and try something else. Junior's 
Azad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? We ditch her. Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully Dia came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Whew, that's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad, you seem a little down today. It's the Subzeros Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much! Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Oh, she, she has her pains wrapped the time she did it. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Paimon doesn't quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. I'm so sorry for leaving you behind earlier. It really is fine. I don't mind. Just experienced a number of or strange events. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Uh-huh. Did something happen? Dunyarzad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. No. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Well, yeah. I never looked look into this, but it's quite possible there are people that don't feel deja vu. We don't know why it happens oh, yet. Oh, Paimon so. sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Uh, let's go. Oh, if everything is resetting, we could try to go against the government. Is that guy the government? Just see what happens. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. Mm. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Ah. The Subzeru's festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I'd... It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizer? True, but... <sighs> well, okay. I'll just have to try again next year. <sighs> the next festival. Probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did! Mm, it's a shame for some reason I felt like this outcome was inevitable. No, it, it was inevitable. The things happened the same way, so we will have the same outcome. You would have to try something different. Go back? We should also return and get some sleep. The stress was first coming to a fortunately abrupt end. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? Hmm. Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. I'm feeling pretty groggy. 
I didn't start about it, but my head does feel very heavy. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. <sighs> then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Observing a modest drop in the output of Nyana energy, but values still remain within normal parameters. Continue to monitor for variances in the data and find the cause as soon as possible. Okay, and this quest took an interesting turn of events. We're not gonna sleep. Uh, anyway, we should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Not at all. I arrived early. Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kind of tired. Yeah. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Is her illness is still progressing? Great idea! Let's get going! I thought Travel? she was a bit down uh, the previous loop because she spent most of her time by herself. This feels all too familiar. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sabzeros. Oh, are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some boxes of candy here. Pick whichever one you want. Not much of a choice. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a... Mmm, they off? And there's also lizard tail... Huh? Mm. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? That's a store. Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at that, all. That was a nice... Oh. Congratulations! Set of Number options. four is indeed Sunsetia. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Paimon knew he always had incredible luck. Oh, I I know what on the others. Number one is lizard tail. Number two is hard fruit. And uh, that's the one I was trying to get. Um, Diamond's not really oh. interested in the other flavors. <laughs> oh! Uh, wait, how did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each box. What? He was right about all of them? I said all the options. That couldn't have been luck. How? How is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on! Since when did you get superpowers? Well, didn't we start the quest with super the game with superpowers? Just now there was. Hey, where are you going? Did we just What's ditch her on? again? Did you see something? Us leaving Dunyarzad without letting her know is kind of rude, you know. Yeah. Attention! No, second thing.
What's that? What are you looking for? Why did we come here? Better figure another rhyming sense. That's almost a horror game. Oh, it looks cute, but kind of cranked for the bird. That's... Hmm, it's open up. It wasn't open before. She was two with us just a moment ago. What's happening here? Why are there two Dunyarzads? You already know that this isn't your first sub festival, don't you? Alert. Alert. I'm sure you already know how to use this. Hmm, this looks a different. knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Huh? You know Paimon? Let's it's together. Well, this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. What the? Memories. So many days worth of memories. This is our 20th time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Just how many times have we been to the Sub Zero's festival? Yeah, I, I don't think we'll be able to count like that. If you're not counting, you. I think you just. It has been a few. We wouldn't know. Or a lot. Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. No. Oh. It's coming back! Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way! Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. She got the blessing of danger as well? It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. When does she have elf ears as well? The other gods don't have. What's wrong with Denizard over there? A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. What? That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and... She doesn't have a lot of time left. Hmm... What I need to do right now is... Break out of the cycle. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. 
But how? Oh yeah, What's I'm the Hida. I know you introduced yourself before. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait, please don't tell Paimon, even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called the samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. It's like an eldritch horror. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> Analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so... With what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? Hmm, let me collect my thoughts. Oh. So when you enter a state of contemplation, you can choose any text entered to interpret it. This interpretation process involves analysis of the text entry and may yield new entries. Once interpreted, you may submit the text as a conclusion. Some text entries can be associated with one another once interpreted. Select Associate to choose the other text entry and then select Trigger Association. You can gain new text entries by performing accurate associations. If one of the text entries on the current page can be used as conclusion it selects the entry before choosing submit conclusion but uh abnormal mental fatigue interpret my mind feels exhausted oh. even though i haven't done too much thinking what is going on and i don't have the patience or time to go for it again but i like to see the early game again it's probably probably has new cutscenes and dialogues, dialogue lines, speech. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. No, I didn't really pay attention to this. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. Can I? I can't. No. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? We've already experienced the Sub-Zeru's festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Uh, associate with... Time loop? That should be it. And the flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. Oh, oh, wasn't that kind of obvious from... He's doing such mental gymnastics to, to get to the obvious conclusion that I thought he already knew. Uh, that's it? A time loop. <laughs> You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. That's not it. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A 
simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <coughs> Junior is odd. The Subzerus Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. Uh. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so... We must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but... Let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Mm, why don't we start with... Those stall owners! Why did you take us away from where we were? We don't have many more festivals to waste. Hurry and find the truth! Where's her? She doesn't have a vision. Shouldn't she have a vision? Oh, I can't really talk to her. It's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Hmm. Why don't we try to see if they are really fresh? Have you felt anything strange lately? Do you ever feel like you're living the same day? No, anything strange. Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um... To put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? I don't think she's helping. What kind of philosophical nonsense <laughs> is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> uh, he actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Mm, remember what I said just now? No one dreams in Sumeru. But we're not. Yeah, what about people that aren't from Sumeru? Do they stop dreaming once they get in Sumeru? Hmm, true. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Mm, we actually did run into a situation, but I'm not sure if it's related to your divination. Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. 
Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? We are all trapped in the day at the Samsara's Festival. You've actually divined our fortune many, many times. Uh... Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? So they have stars like that as well. I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. I'm not sure what I'm afraid of. I don't know my instincts. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Candyman. Oh, there you. Hmm. Paima <laughs> remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. Oh, we did? You think she'll brush us off again? She cares a lot about Dunya's Arch. Let's try taking her to see the real Dunya's yeah. If we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. What about the other Dinosaur that was hmm. around here? At this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her. Mm. I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous ga- Gang of kidnappers had ambushed just a much too. We just defeated the gang of kidnappers. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's I could've went all out. <sighs> Anyway, can you do something for me? You want the Traveler to take Dunyarzad somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? We need to say something convincing. Come with us, now. Oh, come on. Uh, people from Sumeru do not dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds, and then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? I don't have to. Okay, just talk traveler, about. Traveler. You got injured. Oh, I didn't just choose the. You saw the great search for the festival. Got injured because they aren't used to current great search. Uh, I didn't tell anyone about that, including Miss Dunyarzad. You couldn't have known, and just now you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right. So this is the situation. Explain everything to tell you. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. Wouldn't telling her that like that shatter her mem brains like that? She would have to figure things out for herself. 
have noticed something off about Denisar. She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and hmm. really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? Come with me, I'll show you some of this. All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Shouldn't we take her with us? I kind of want to see if there's a time paradox or something if they touch each other. This was kind of a nice way to get us familiar with this area of the town. Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? Come on, I thought I told notice. you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Chicken soup. Huh? Oh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Oh. Can she pass through you? She'll become special. Hold on. Over there. Is that? You can see her. W wow. How perceptive. <laughs> Does she have invisible antennae? No, it's quite obvious. It's those ear like things on her. Miss Dunyarzad, she's. Hair. She's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I. Can sense her aura. I. There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Sub Zero's festival has been repeating itself. I've been discussing the issue of so, Do you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. Mm, isn't that Uber Sage kind of traps in the time loop as well, since he has to come here every day to shut it mm, down? You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Mm, he can tell us anything about the Akasha. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. Mm. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. So, will they be inoperable after she loses? Her gnosis. A gnosis could do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, the Akasha relies on the power of a gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. What's up? 
I get the Grant's knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Mm, still information. Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? What? Knowledge? Most information of the Akasha comes from Irmiso. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? I don't know. I'll have to think again. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, Jeez. as it is the manifestation of the, the God of Wisdom's same, power. Same this it compiles price. the wit. My mind feels exhausted. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has. Mm. Uh, is there to that? That doesn't sound right. I need to care for. It's okay, so. That doesn't sound right. Okay. I don't have penalty, so let's just you try mean everything. The Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? What? But how would it do that? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. It seems useful. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. Mm, I have to take another look from afar. Does it look like a brain? In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. It's worth a shot. Uh, somehow I don't think it'll be that simple, but, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Everyone removes their Akasha terminals. How okay, what if I had chosen? Them? It wouldn't be enough. Actually, I'd also notice something else. Huh? What is it? I feel like the end of every day. There is always a the sound of a beep. Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about. It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? Mm, I heard the same sound for almost, did I? When? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Isn't that kind of loud for us to have heard from here? Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. Hmm. We took off our Akasha terminals. Hmm. Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. <laughs> but we cannot lose all of our progress. <laughs> How are we hearing those voices? If it's not a time loop, remembers everything. 
shouldn't people from outside Sumer City notice something was going on here? <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. Well, we were not using that Yakasha now. At the end of last night. We definitely took off our Akashi terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? We're being implanted in another form of terminals. We fail at severing our connections with them. <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this oh, cycle. We got them back. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. Yeah, but I don't see the cheese. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm... I guess... I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? So, so she's an illusion and a liar. Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth, so you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. Oh. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. What but do, uh, isn't it earlier now? Ah, they should be showing up now. Not. Uh. If we know who they are, where they're going to be, can we just beat them up instead of waiting for the whole ordeal? Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Oh, she didn't get hurt. Huh? Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You, you didn't get hurt this time. Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Hmm, aren't you gonna use your new Great Surge? Shh! How did you know about my Great Sword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunyarzad. So Dia's lost her memories after all. During your battle, do you feel did anything very strange? Anything strange? You already know that I got a new greatsword. Hmm, if I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so hmm. familiar. Ah, uh, it's muscle memory. It's as if uh. I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? It's not a time loop, but people from outside should... Aren't the merchants or stuff that come in and out of Sumero every day? Could it be because we removed the Akash terminals? Yeah! Hyman's feeling really hopeful! It's... Is it possible that we have already broken free? Oh, you're right! You'll know for sure at the end of the day. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... Yeah, so you want really. us to take Dunyar's odd somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, yeah. Uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. Should we move the Akashas just to be extra sure? Getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Hey, hang on, but if it was. If it is a time loop, she. 
she should have the injury from the previous day. So it has to be a time loop, otherwise she should have the same arm getting hurt every day and it would just get worse over time. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Or maybe it's a butthole. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Isn't every night we spend she getting closer to death? Hey! What kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. But the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub festival. Okay, okay, no more. Paimon's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. <laughs> uh, uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that... Paimon's at a loss for words! You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. You're going to go get some rest. Yeah. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub-Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Uh, let's go back to our room. There's a bell right there. Uh, if we spend a loop sleeping, would we be rested? Continue the harvest. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. We're still in the same day! As expected, it's not as simple as we thought. Nahida, you already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why didn't you tell us?! <laughs> Would there have been a point? You would have spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. Uh, I don't think so. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. Paimon thought the Duke Duke did that! Uh, whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahira's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So, Traveler... Did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? The time loop theory is indeed incorrect. Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? The US fight skill has have been improving. And yes, our illness has also gotten worse. But one thing doesn't necessarily impede the other. Depends what the uh, time theory story. They are oh, following yeah. you. You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. Well, but the uh, injury is was renewed every day before that. So what's your new hypothesis? That was a plot hole, her injury. 
Um, okay, I'm going to finish the results. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory, and Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems. Hey, that. Hmm. Hmm. I can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. With that. Hmm. Numbers are deleted every day. If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. Um, wouldn't sometimes we get a rainy day? Wouldn't people from outside notice? Wouldn't her injury just be getting worse and worse since she, since she was getting hurt every day, every battle? But yeah, that is a problem. <gasps> we are in a time loop. Stellar memories are being erased at the end of each day. Oh! Then the beep we hear every night could just be indicating the deletion of our memories! That sounds painful. That's why when we wake up, everyone thinks the Subzero's festival hasn't happened yet. It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before. So, I guess we did miss the festival then. But muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her greatsword. Now everything makes sense! Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right or wrong. Yeah, and, and the fruits the guy picked up yesterday, that was, I don't know how many yesterdays ago. Shouldn't they be going bad over time? To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all! It's still the wrong conclusion, eh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Uh, this is getting too long. Right! She did help us find her latest clue after all. Let's go! Um, I could be close to the end of this quest, but I I think there'll be some developments. I probably need to figure this out and then there'll be another situation to deal with the scholars and then a boss for some mirror, but I, I don't think the boss will be now. I think there'll be another chapter afterwards yeah i'm gonna in here we don't have many more festivals to waste hurry and find the truth uh and, and what about the what's up with her duplicate that is just just a paddock to everything yeah but next time i play i'll continue with the event that should be yeah those two seven hours next time i play i'll i'll do those two parts of the event and then some other time i play i'll get the i'll continue the story